Yeah, it's the 501, baby. Uh-huh. You know how we get down on the Wolfie podcast. Woo! Shout out OD, shout out G Holmes, it's the bad. Big sexy. Woo, yeah, yeah. Woo, yeah. Woo, yeah. Woo, yeah. yeah. Woo. Welcome back to another episode of the Woo Pig Podcast, coming to you live from the Insurance Max Studios, where we talk about everything Arkansas Razorback football and basketball every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. Man, also check out the website, thewoopig.com. Experience peace of mind with Insurance Max, your one-stop solution for home, auto, and commercial insurance statewide don't wait call today no obligation quotes secure your future with insurance max where protection meets affordability dial now holler at my guy west caleb and sandy over there safeguard what matters most 870-534-2823 let them know you heard it on the woo pig podcast in the woo pig podcast man we stream it on all major platforms facebook youtube twitter and twitch we even on Rumble. Make sure you subscribe to us on all our platforms. And if you enjoy audio only, we everywhere, Apple Podcasts, we really rock with Spotify. You can switch between audio and video over there. Make sure you go run that up for your boys. And we can't forget about the OGs, 3M Electric, the OG sponsor of the Woopick Podcast serving Northwest Arkansas. They're your trusted commercial and residential electrical contractor as a SDVOSB. They're dependable and reliable with no job too big or small when it comes to your electrical needs. Contact 3M Electric, 479-408-9865. Let them know you heard it on the Woo Pig Podcast. They got something special for you. And you already know who I got in the building. <laughs> hey, yo, it's your boy G. Holmes in the building, a.k.a. Big Sexy. Somebody out there holler for me. Yes, what it do, OD? Hey, man, they got me running like a chicken with my head cut off today. Bro, bro you made the both of us, man. We've been getting it in. <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, bro, they don't know what, what these schedules been looking like today, baby. Man, the struggle is real, baby. The struggle is real. Man, we brought our coach in the building with us today. We got Coach Box back with us for a second episode in a row. Bad little brother doing bad little brother things, man. Facts. <laughs> he need three you of know? electric. <laughs> bad little brother doing bad little brother things, man. <laughs> Coach hey, Box, what it do, baby? Hey, DJ told everybody to go get three of them electric. He ain't doing what he told everybody to do. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> man. Uh, <laughs> jumping into the topics tonight, man. The uh the portal for the hogs is popping already, man. Yes, sir. Our, our guy, Joseph Pinion. Has hit the portal. If you ain't checked it out, make sure you go to the website, thewoopig.com. Check out the article we wrote on yes, sir. our guy, Joseph Pena, man. It's a pretty cool article, man. Y'all Go check that out. Go check it out, man. Thewoopig.com, man. I'm telling y'all, man, we doing some big things out here, man. We need y'all to go, man, and look for us, baby. We yeah. out here in these streets. We going to talk about OD. Joseph Pena I first, man. I What'd had you to say? Get OD props. I had to get OD props today. That was a good article. Hey man, we appreciate hey. it, man. You know it's hard for box to give anybody props, man. Y'all know, I know right? Y'all take that. Hey. Good. <laughs> <laughs> but man, talking about Joe's opinion, man. He he, top one hundred recruit. Uh, had scholarship offers, man, from everywhere, man. Kansas, Creighton, B, uh, Baylor. Uh, who else was on that list, man? Oklahoma. He had a lot of cats on that list, man, that was like, come play for us, man. But he said, I'm going to stay home, and I'm going to rep them hogs. 
But man, for the last two years, man, we we ain't really seen Joe's opinion, man. So he just been kind of chilling on the bench, man. So I, I want to know from you guys, man, what what do you guys think that held held Joe's opinion back from actually getting on the on the basketball court and being a contributor? Coach. I'm gonna let Coach get off on this one because that's his guy. The coach. The coach. You gotta you gotta you gotta expound on that box. <laughs> um when you got a coach that's very limited with an offensive game plan, you're not gonna know what to do with an offensive player. We struggled at some point last year and this year with offense. You got to find out a way to get your best offensive shooter on the floor. Yeah, you got let you got defensive liabilities. Everybody on every team ain't the greatest defense. But it's your job as a coach to mask that with four other players that can play defense. And so when mm. you got a guy that's getting beat, you got to have a center that's going to cover the slack. But you still got to make you still got to uh, uh, get an offensive game plan to help that player. Everybody on a power five school got one player on their team that's bad at defense. But their head coach know how to coach them to keep them, get them on the floor to get minutes. Must not do that. If you're not play, if you're not play defense, must ain't playing. So he will sacrifice offense for defense and this year burning. Yeah. Mm. G, what about you? I, for me, I, look here, man. We visited this last year. <clears throat> we said that Pinion has poor lateral movement. He was out there playing, I mean, like with, with cement shoes on. You know what I'm saying? He just had poor positioning on defense. Uh, it's almost like he, he didn't know how to play defense. You know, that's what I saw. You know, he was used to being just bigger than guys. Because, I mean, at 6'6", six, six, you know what I'm saying? he. I mean, he's a big dude. He was athletic. So, he was, you know, coming from the the high school that he was coming from, man, he was probably really just more athletic. And that's sad to say, more athletic than some of those guys he was playing against. So, he really didn't play a lot of defense. So, he was just really snowbirding. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, getting the runouts and getting the dunks and getting those highlights and shooting the three. He was never really called upon to be a defensive stopper. Fast forward to whenever you get into a power five school, now you got to go both ways. I mean, you got to be able to, you know, play some D. It ain't got to be spectacular D, but you got to be able to keep the guy in front of you. I mean, you got to be able to, you know, move around, you know what I'm saying? Get your hips in the right position. You got to be able to do that, those types of things, be physical with a guy, and he wasn't able to do that because that's what that's not what he was used to. He was used to snowbirding. Everybody know what the snowbird is? So that's what I think, and when Muzz saw that, because if you go back and look at his tapes, you don't never see no defensive plays. They're all offensive plays, all of them, runouts, threes, Turnarounds, boom, boom. He's always scoring. He ain't never showed him ripping a guy, blocking a shot. You know what I'm saying? Taking a charge. So I just think the young man just would never had to play defense. Let me explain y'all some. Who played defense this year? Nobody. <laughs> exactly. But we just stuck on Pinion. Who played defense? That's who we talking about. What you mean? Well, yeah, but we, we, we y'all talking about Pinion defense. Pat Bradley That's has slow. Pat Bradley has slow feet. They got. Bro. They got. They got. They got an offense around him. Pat Bradley Listen wasn't a great defensive <clears throat> player. Pat Bradley played on a team full of dogs. What you mean? We supposed to have dogs. We we don't. He I played don't. on a team full of dogs. Pat Come Bradley on, defense was not that bad. I mean, he could keep a guy in front of him. Yeah, his defense was not that bad. The shooter, the shooter was forced to play. You couldn't get on the court with Nolan and not and not play defense. Come on now, box. Put some respect on, on Nolan. You know he ain't putting you out there if you can't you play that big defense. Cold blooded dummy. Bro, bro, when Pat Bradley came, Nolan Richmond's day was numbered. 
What? Are you that crazy, just, bro? You crazy? Was, hey, hey, he was getting JUCO players that couldn't even hardly pass JUCO. That's reading Pat. That's reading. They they when they when he started getting JUCO players, that was the end of Nolan because some of them guys didn't even make it to Arkansas. Nolan made his got his bread and butter from JUCO. He was hey, always hey, getting hey, JUCO players. Bro, but the, but that last batch when it does that Sunday out of Bayo batch, they couldn't stay in school. <laughs> man, let me let me shout let me shout out little rock 2517 man for the super chat man he super Yo. chatted before we even got started man shout out to you big dog appreciate you bro appreciate so you man he always supporting the channel man man absolutely man absolutely man we definitely appreciate it i'm gonna tell you somebody else who supports the channel man hold, hold on one second man he want to say something to y'all Podcast family, I have one simple question for you today. Why haven't you called me? If you're trying to protect your home, your auto, your motorcycle, your boat, your side by side, or more importantly, your business, how do you know you're not paying too much for your insurance? Give me a call today, 870 534 2823. And lastly, continue to support the Woo Pig Podcast. Oh, shout out to our sponsor. Man, y'all better go give him a call, man. Give, <laughs> give him a him call. call yeah. Check on your insurance, man. Let's see if you got you you fully covered the right way, man. Yo, so. I saved some money. I'm going to just be honest with you. Man, I switched my coverages over to Insurance Max, man. They came through, got me some, you know, they saved me some bread. So hey, let's get it. back in your pocket, baby. Put them hey, in your pocket, put, baby. Put that, cu- put that comment up by Big A. What are you, that comment he put up. By That's Pat. what happened. That's what happened. <laughs> Pat said he hid on defense. Hey, exactly. man, all, sh- all shooters do. All yeah, shooters must, I mean, do. Mu- must didn't do it. Man, because must don't know how to play anything but man to man. Nolan would play some zone. So. Nolan didn't hardly play zone, man. I said he would play some zone. Bro, they do. They play Nolan, no zone. Bro, Nolan went in that 1-3-1 one, one a lot. He had Todd there. Come on, bro. Oh, that Come on, one, man. One, a lot. Yeah. He may be run the running the baseline a lot. That one three one matchup zone must that was that was Nolan bread and butter, a lot, bro. Yeah, hey man, hey, it's 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 all good. Uh, so what's your wish, take though? What what's your take? You you ain't gave us your take on opinion. Actually, man, I think, think y'all I think y'all should go to the whoopig dot com and look at the article I wrote, man. It tell you everything I said about man, my my, my no, guy. No, I, I read man. the article, but you know what is that? I want to hear it right now. <laughs> uh, man, my See take on do? it. My take on it is I said it earlier, man. Joe's opinion. Hey, man, you should hit the portal, my guy, because you're not ever gonna be used properly by Eric Musselman. He has done you a disservice as a coach to not mm. put you in the game and find a way for you to be on the court. Clearly, one of the top two best shooters on the team. Pure shooter, he is the best shooter on the team. But you mean to tell me you couldn't find a way to find to get a 6'6 guy on the court to just spot up, spot up, shoot the ball. Mm. You couldn't find mm. a way to hide him on defense as mm. as an NBA coach you couldn't you couldn't find a way to coach this guy up absolutely man he did the best thing hit the portal and it ain't I don't want people to think I'm being mean to Joe's opinion man I'm I'm just being honest he is not being used properly at University of Arkansas and he realized that because his name was in the portal the day after they lost that means his mind lost, was bro. he made his mind up a long time ago. As soon as I'm the season over, I'm out of here on the first thing smoking. I hate it here. You hear me? Hey man, Joe's opinion was gone. It, it, his daddy probably was like, "Hey man, after the season, chunk the deuces, hit the portal, baby, hit the portal." Yeah. Because guess what? Somebody gonna say, "Hey Joseph, I got a hundred stacks for you. I got a hundred stacks." And if you think he ain't going to get it, hey, you must think it's 1997. They paying players now. He going to get his bread somewhere else. It may be at a mid-major school, but it don't matter. 
Hey, let me get Joe's opinion. I got that fifty. I got that fifty bands for you. Come on, get it. So, hmm. That's all I'm saying. Thank, thank you very much, Joe's opinion. Box said something that I want to go back to on the last episode. Y'all know I go back and watch the last. The, I go back and watch the episodes because I be finding gems. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. I ain't gonna bring up that one, Box. I won't let that one go. <laughs> but the one, the one thing I wanted to bring up that Box said is that Eric Musselman does not recruit Arkansas talent. I went back and looked. Mm-mm. Eric Mm-mm. Musselman has got every top one hundred player. Well, I ain't gonna say top 100. Top 10 player out of Arkansas, except for the dude who went to Oregon. All the rest of them have come to Arkansas. They just don't stay. I was gonna say, after how many years did they transfer out? One. They one, all stay one, one year, year, whether they go to the NBA or they go to another school. Pinion stayed two. He's the exception. Uh KK Devo. Robinson. Uh then Devo stayed four years. Uh, Darian Ford. Uh, Moses Moody. Uh, who the, the guy that we got uh, this year. Uh, Blocker. He ain't gone yet, but he he might. We don't know yet. We're going to find out. Mm-hmm. Those guys, Musselman gets the talent from Arkansas. He just don't use it. Bro, they was he don't use anyway. it. Say what? They was coming anyway. Maybe they were, because you know how people, us Arkansas folks, we love Arkansas. We love the Hogs. So guess what? We we come and we want to be Razorbacks. We do. Let me, tell you why. Let me tell you why I know he ain't recruiting Arkansas. Because you ain't losing, you ain't you ain't losing one of our best players to Missouri. Yeah, he'll get the ones that's automatically coming. That's easy. But Bowden, you don't lose a player like that to Missouri if you really recruit in Arkansas. Mm-hmm. Big A said it best. So basically, Musselman doesn't develop Arkansas talent. That's the We've key. We've been saying that. He get them. Yeah. He just don't use them. Yeah. We, must we, get we've him, been saying must, that. Must get them just so he can keep the hot seat off his head. Yeah, I recruit them. They can't. That's the only reason he recruits the guys that even coming. So he can keep the, keep the, keep the cold off his back. <laughs> Desi had beef with Mus. So his mother, hey, Desi was out on the first thing smoking. Desi was, I ain't, but Desi was kind of trash though. I'm sorry, man. You talking I, about I, Desi Seals? Get, man, that boy used to get on my nerves, man. Hey, but he went to, um, oh, snap. Connect, he went to Auburn Connect. and then he went to Kansas State. Kansas State. Kansas State. That's where he went. They they got pretty far a couple years yeah. ago. Let me ask you yeah. this, though. Was, you think Desi, Desi is trash or, or must just then coach him right? Eh. Oh, Devsey was not that good. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna keep it a buck. Hey man, shout out to Ty Collins Senior man for supporting the channel, man. He says, man, wipe the feet. Hit the like man, button. Stop feet, playing man. with Y'all me. Hit the like button, bro. Every I know what we like here, to I do. Fight. Every time I come here, I gotta fight to prove my love, man. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I hate it here. Man, woo pig the, Deezy in the building with the super chat, man. He says the band, sorry, little brother. Gang. I'm stuck out of town right now, but which one of these guys that hit the portal has the best chance to have success? Pena. Pena. I say Pena. And the reason why I say Pena, because he is a great shooter. Teams need shooters. And I guarantee you there's some coach that be like, hey, man, even though he going to Y'all going they going to develop some defensive schemes that's going to if he does get beat, you know, teach him how to hedge the player to a certain to to the help. That's what that's how you, you know, compensate for an insufficiency in defense. Is teach the player, look man, I, I know he going to get by me, but I I'm only going to let him get by me left or I'm only going to let him get by me right. So the players got to know, okay, if he got a guy that's shifty, he going to let him – I mean, he going to hedge him back into this rotation defense. It's got to be a help side. That's all I'm saying. Well, one thing that might happen, Flanagan got everybody at Auburn away from Arkansas, and they came back to kill us. 
Now he at why, Ole Miss. Why do the Flanagan oh. dudes always go to Auburn? Because Arkansas don't hire them. Arkansas well, I, I don't, try to hire I don't understand why the, the Flanagans don't mess with look, Arkansas at all. Every Flanagan that just came out of Arkansas, don't they like, we out of here. They, they go into Florida. Players. There was one in Florida. There was one in them in Auburn. Man, they, they it was one of them in uh, Ole Miss. I mean, I'm like, they everywhere but Arkansas, man. I can see Pinyon going to Ole Miss. They? Yeah, they, they offered him a scholarship. But uh, to answer DJ's question, man, we got a Pinion in the chat that said he Pinion going to be the guy. That's what I say. So. But you see I what? Uh, go ahead. I don't want to lose this this comment right here. Go ahead. Good. No, go ahead, man. I'm just clicking on comments right now. <clears throat> I was looking at this Hunter McLaren. He said he developed J.D. Note to a third-team <sighs> All-American. Okay. J.D. Note, go. go. He's talking about my boy. I got to get on it. Go, <laughs> go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. <laughs> so, so what I'm going to say is this. I think J.D. Note was that guy before he came there. And you're talking about yeah. a third-team? He was just – he just – saw that first year that J.D. Note was there when he was coming off the bench. He was coming off the bench cooking. And so that's why he got to start in his last year because he was only there for two years. So he really didn't I – don't, I don't think Musk developed him. I just think Musk put him on the floor. What you say, O.D.? That's your boy. Man, J.T. J, J.D. Note was a dog from day one. That's day what one. I – hey, I don't he think was he was dog. developed. He got it out the mud down there in Jacksonville. So when when he went and got J.D. Note, hey, man, J.D. Note, he, J.D. Note was out there playing basketball in pro wings with the hard bottoms. He been getting it out the mud, bro. <laughs> Slip <of> the slide. <laughs> so hey, uh, J.D. Note was a dog. Muscleman didn't have to do nothing but give him the ball. Nothing. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't do nothing. Hey, and for his um day, um day was a player a year in his conference Who? where it came to Stanley. Uh, before Amude. he came to Arkansas, he Amude. was the player. He was a player of the year in his conference before he came to Arkansas, and Mush didn't develop Walsh, not one bit. He handcuffed him. He said it. Mm. Weak narrative saying he doesn't develop talent. What? So tell me one player that's got developed at the U- University of Arkansas, bro. Please tell me. Yeah. I would love to know a player that got developed. Yeah. None of yeah, them. They, we we ain't in the time of developing players no more. You, you, it's all about what have is what have you done for me lately? But most of them, hey, you only here for a short time, not a long time. Mm-hmm. The days of developing talent is developing players is gone. Either mm-hmm. you either you a guy that I can see helping me, or I'm gonna try to replace you. And Musselman has replaced every single person that has he's brought to the heel every single year. We got nine new players. The only people yeah, that stay around is the last three busters on the bench. Yeah. So I was just yeah, I, yeah. Get in the comments. Tell us who who has he developed. If you feel like that's a weak narrative, and and it's just not myself saying it. It's all everybody. That not just the, the people on the panel. We've we've talked to some people, and you know, like like Od was talking the other day. Man, we have a relationship with a a coach trainer that's that has trained and coached some some I mean top notch players, and he I mean we've he's sh- he's shown us you know and told us about other conversations about Muss's player development. And we talked about it. He said that. He was like, look here, Musselman is not in the business of developing a player. He said that. He said that he, that's not what he wants to do. Am I right, O.D.? Yep. I, he I don't mean, want to do that. He said he doesn't want to do that. And we're we're not just talking about somebody. We're talking about somebody came in the barbershop, man, that I'm telling you, they in the camp when I'm telling you. Y'all know where we're getting it from. I'm telling y'all, these are people that are on the front lines 
in the in the in the rooms, in the meetings, and I'm telling you, he doesn't like to develop players. That ain't what he like to do. Man, shout out Michael Gray, man, for supporting the channel, man. He says, uh, do you think players are leaving because Musselman's coaching style with all the yelling, screaming, and being so emotional does not sit well with some of the players? Maybe a little too harsh on them. Man, that's a good question, man. That's a that's a real good question. Uh, my take on that, I'm going to put that down here on the bottom just so we got it on, down here. Um, kids nowadays are different. <clears throat> Our generation, you can yell at us, you can cuss us out. We gonna go. We gonna go to the bench, or we gonna go to the dorm, and we gonna be like, okay, coach treat me like I'm a buster. I'm gonna get in the show. lab, and 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna make it do what it do. I'm gonna make him eat those words. That's what we would say internally. Nowadays, you yell at the kids. They like, oh my god, my mental health. Oh my god. I'm a- don't uh, I'm gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you know what I, was, I know you about to say. Uh, so I, I I need a mental break. I need to go. I need to, I need to leave the team for two or three days and to come back and get everything good to go, man. So you can't really maybe what you're saying may have something to do with it because kids these days, man, they just they just soft. They just soft and they can't take criticism. But at the same time, at the same time, (laughs) you can go overboard with the yelling, the screaming, being emotional. You know, all he he always high, he high up here, and then he low down here. I mean, them them traits of what we in our neighborhood we used to call, hey man, you on that stuff? I ain't saying that's (laughs) the case. I'm just saying when you high and you low. Hey, man, what you doing, bro? So I'm just, we don't know. We don't know. What you guys think, think about that? I think when you hollering and all that stuff, as long as players are getting better from it, they will, they will accept it more. But if players ain't getting better from it, they ain't going to accept it. Everybody hollering about Jayla Williams. He was a good Razorback. He came in with no low post game. Left with no low post game. What did he Facts. develop? <laughs> Facts. <laughs> but he playing on. Hey, but he playing in the league. One minute he playing one minute, and all the reason he playing the league because they gave him a two year guaranteed contract. I I think they got his money. They got their money's worth out of Jalen Williams. I think they he. Did. Yeah, they yeah. they got his money's worth. And you know why they gave him that contract last year? Because they need somebody to step in to check come back, and he did that job. <laughs> he did his job well. Now you're getting mm. maybe one minute, mm. maybe nine minutes a game. Like I say, he came to Arkansas with no low post game. He left Arkansas with no low post game. So what did Musk develop in Jayla Williams besides he what he didn't have in, in high school? He could take a charge, though. He had more charges yeah, in hey, the SEC than anybody. We can, we can take a charge just by standing there. How about well, block shots? You can't take charges no more in, in the NCAA. They're going to they gonna call that against you every time. Yeah. And, and, and really everybody many. can – and everybody can holler about his IQ, this, IQ, that. When you're a six foot ten center, you're the biggest person on the team. We want to throw you the ball down there and you get us a basket. We want you to block two or three shots a game. We just don't want you to take charges out every game. And so mm. that's how I want my big man to do. I want you to block mm. some shots, put your back to the basket, and get us a basket when we need it. I don't yeah. want you standing on perimeter setting screens and shooting three pointers. And so that that's me. Well, my my take on that is if like OD said, players these days, man, they soft. I'm talking about they weak is that one plied toilet tissue that's wet. You're gonna stick your finger through it. <laughs> it's bad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, and I mean that's that's from society. Society has made players like that. It's made people in general like that, where 
You know, at, at one point, you know, people can, oh, man, you need to be able to speak your mind and say this, this, and this. But then you got these sensitive people be like, oh, my God, I can't believe you talking to these kids like that. We have people come on our show now, and we're just giving our opinions. Think about that. What you guys are listening to is our opinions. And some of the people that listen to this show are saying our opinions are too harsh. These are just kids. But you're paying these kids $100,000, $250,000 a year, but I can't have a harsh opinion? We won't win. I'm just saying, that's terrible. You're creating that because guess what those kids here? Oh, you mean to tell me that people can't have that, by, that, that type of opinion about me? Now they feel some type of way. So it's like it's a perpetuating cycle of creating weak-minded generation, a, a weak-minded generation. For us, man, wasn't nobody trying to hear that. Man, I'm telling you, my I, I, my parents wasn't like that. I got I I, I never forget the story. I'm telling you how my mama was. Used to have a basketball goal out of my front yard that was you know. Uh, you know, did you have to, we used to loosen it up and let it down so we can dunk on it. Well, one time I forgot to tighten the bolts up. So my mama tells me, take the trash out at nighttime. So I went and took the trash out. Mm, I came back. I'm going to run, grab the rim. I grabbed the rim. Boom. It slid down. Bow. Hit me in the top of my head. Split my head wide open. Knocked me out. I'm laying out on the, uh, on the driveway. Blood everywhere. Bl I'm talking about blood all down my face everywhere. I find I finally come to, I finally come to on my own. And I'm, I'm staggering into the house. Blood is, is all, all over my face, down in my mouth. I walk into the house and walk into my mama's room. I say, mom, uh, I think I need to go to the doctor. You know what my mama said? <laughs> Put some boy, if you about don't, it. Hey, <laughs> she said, <laughs> boy, if you don't get out of here, hey. And don't be dripping that blood off of, go get a towel or something, go rinse that stuff off. Ain't nothing wrong with you. You walked in here. Walk Put out. some rubber tusk though. Let that tussin soak on in. <laughs> you walked in here, ain't nothing wrong with you. <laughs> I mean, I need I really needed stitches. I, I got the scar on top of my head to this day. Ask my mama, she'll tell you. But guess what? <laughs> hey man, suck it up. These days, man, they'd have called all type of ambulances and everything. We've been in surgery. These dudes, right? I'm telling you, man, this, this is a weak society. Weak. Hey, man, I'm going to tell you what's weak. The fact that we got 240 people in here, we only got 73 likes. Oh. Hey. Yeah, I'm going to tell y'all. I'm going to tell y'all about y'all self, man. Every, every time <laughs> we turn on this thing, we got to fight to prove our love, man. I'm going to tell you, if you don't hit that like button, you... Big trash. Come on, man. Hit the button, man. <laughs> Hit the button. Garbage. Hit the button, man. Hit the like button. Close out the chat. We ain't going nowhere. We ain't going Hit nowhere. It. Hit it. We done with the nineties, man. Now hey, I want to say I want to say something about the being soft. This this generation and all that. I right, go for it. You you can you can get in the military. Eighteen years old, they can put a gun in your head and go to war. You ain't no young. You ain't no longer young. When you go to college and you decide to accept that accept that money that you know money. You grown, so That's you right. gotta take what's cause you gotta take what's coming your way, cause if That's you don't right. want it, don't accept the money. Go to college for free, like they giving you anyway. But when you take that money, accept everything people give to you. Mm. Somebody said Tony Dungy. What that comment? Tony Dungy was a nice guy. I I saw yeah. the comment, but I missed it. But like I told people before, Tony Dungy had some. He had some dogs when he when Tony Dungy was at uh, when he came to the Colts, he had Peyton Manning. He ain't had to holler at nobody. That's why he got a chip. Hmm. He wasn't that nice of a guy when he was at Tampa Bay. I don't know. I I mean, he always seemed like a nice guy. So I don't know I mean, about Tony Dungy. I'm just saying he, he always seems like a nice guy. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> He was a nice guy. Yeah. So he did, but he always had some dogs. Yeah, maybe he just was a good coach. How about that? Well, he was a good said, coach. They, they said Barry Switzer was a good coach because he won a championship. And he said, they said he was a good NFL coach. 
Just because he won a championship at Cowboys. Everybody know that was Troy can run that team. <laughs> he had yeah. Peyton Manning. Yeah. Man, shout out to LS up. I ain't never seen him, so this got to be his first super chat. Man, we appreciate yo, yo, you supporting yo. the channel, man. He said, you guys, you guys are funny as, yeah. Man, I don't know how I ended up here, but I'm definitely subscribed now. <laughs> man. <laughs> man, go tell a friend and tell a friend, man. We over here doing something, man. And let's <laughs> keep rocking with us, man. I don't know where you're living there, but, hey, the Woo Pig Podcast coming up on the hill on uh, April the 13th. We're going to go to the spring game, and we're going to be up there Friday night and Saturday. Friday night, we're going to uh, go out there and kick it at the Catfish Hole off of Weddington. Y'all come over there and kick it with your boys. It's going to be Big Sexy, OD Coach Box, and the Bad Little Brother, and all of our friends that's going to come up there with us, man, and we want you guys to come. Also, on August the 31st, right here in Little Rock, Arkansas, over at War Memorial Stadium, the Woo Pig Podcast is also going to be tailgating. We're going to be out there kicking it, man. When I tell you we're going to kick it, we're going to have music, dominoes, card playing, all the stuff that we like to do, we're going to be doing it. So y'all come out there, kick it with you, man. Y'all, I mean, it's a family affair, so it's a family affair. You feel me? Fool with us if you're cool with us. Man, so touch moving on from uh Joseph Pinion, man. Uh Minifield, he hit the portal. He was here for I don't know, seven, eight games. Um so he scored 33 points one time, and he probably scored 33 points the rest of the season in the other six games he played. I don't know how many games he played. I may be exaggerating, but he was just here, man. He didn't really play. I ain't gonna lose no sleep over it. I ain't, I ain't gonna even waste no article on it. You, I, I am not gonna remember Minifield in two years. I'm gonna be like, remember what's that dude name with the dress we used to have? The man, the little point guard. What was his name? I That's, know, right? Who is it? He's Who gonna be relegated dude? to that in a minute because I'm not gonna remember him. Yeah, I'm just not. And uh, who's the other guy? Oh, uh, here it is, Gray Poupon D. Janae Harris. <laughs> leaving <laughs> man we ain't gonna that boy never saw the court and then when he did see the court he didn't know where he was supposed to be at he, they were trying to t tell him where to be it was terrible <laughs> battle was like fool you supposed to be on the other side what are you doing <laughs> man go oh, eat your Cheetos hilarious. man go back on the bench bro bro Harris got a scholarship <laughs> just because he needed to feel one that was it that was terrible I mean, and then he talking about he hit the portal. Hit the portal to go where? Who? Where your tape? You ain't got nothing on tape. What they going to see? Who going to? Who? Tell me where, where DJ Nate Harris going to go play basketball at. I want to know. Who going to? Who? Arkansas State. Man, no. Ain't no. Wichita Baptist ain't calling that fool. I'm sorry. DJ Nate Harris. That boy. Hey, man. My butt now. Well, I can't even find it right now. Hit the <laughs> <laughs> super trash. Man, DJ Nate Harris. Hey he man, terrible. he was a he was a crash test dummy for uh for the for practice, <laughs> man. That's 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 it. all it was. He was on practice squad. Man. Let me hit off Minifield. When people was hailing Minifield, oh, he the savior. That's what we need. I did what I say that. At, what, I, what I was looking at, <laughs> he was, he, hey, what I was looking at, he couldn't, <laughs> hey, he, he couldn't shoot, he couldn't shoot, he didn't pass, and he t he he can't play defense, and he's too small. You know, I, that I, what I, I, that's I what so, I seen. And my, you know, every time my wife, we watch it again, you know, she was like, she was like, won't he get him a, a, a hair dilly or something, get this hair out of his face? I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> She's always saying, "She's like, why is her all over the place like that? He need to get a, a, a ponytail ring." My guy LS says, "Also, I give y'all a little bit of ease. My aunt works for the University of Florida, and she says she hearing our top candidates are Scott Drew and Dusty May. She heard very little about Musk, so y'all uh. should be good." <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> man, we don't want to be good. We don't want to be good. We we not we. I mean, we we, we cool if y'all want to take that off our hands. Man, I mean, I ain't gonna. I'm not gonna cry about it. Yo, we know box volume is low. We working on that. I mean, we we working on it. He getting a new interface coming in. Should be next week. Yeah, we gonna get box. They go box Jessica get, Davis. Woo! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There go our girl. Uh-uh, not that. Uh, no, no, no. I'm ah, uh, this didn't this didn't this didn't egg pop up there right. Let me let me pull that back. Can I? No, you ain't you ain't see our girl though. Who? Jessica Davis, bro. She was what happened? I missed it. Oh, here we go. Bruh. Whoa, whoa. Oh. That's what I said, baby. Hey, stop Hold on. the press. Flex on them. Flex <laughs> on them. Flex on them. Oh man, flex on them, Jessica Davis, with Ooh. the fifty dollars super chat. Yo, hey, we need a siren right now. I need a siren man. sound effect, Ooh. man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Jessica, Jessica, we gonna be up on the hill, man. Y'all come, come kick it with us, man. Take our work. Come kick it with us, man. Jessica Davis, Jessica Davis hit us with the fifty ball. My favorite Razorback barber shop. Y'all always come with the facts and make me laugh. But we man. don't know what no other kind of way to hey, be, man. We hey, appreciate you. you. Been on, hey, you should have been on a couple of shows ago. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I know, right? That that night nice she'll be you be missing out sometimes, Jessica. Yeah, that night nice she'll <laughs> <own. laughs> Man, we we appreciate you supporting the channel, man. One hundred percent. Yo, Jessica, don't forget, August the 31st and April the 13th, man. Find us. Come come kick it with us. Hey, man, shout out to Matt, man, for the super chat. He said, Harris transferring to Pulaski Tech. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, need, they, they need a teacher. Bruh. <laughs> man, Harris, uh, hey, man. Bruh, don't get me talking about that dude, man. I'm, uh, yeah. Where we at, man? All right, man. Before we open it up, anybody who want to come up and kick it with us, man, you know how we do. We gotta, we gotta holler at the sponsors, man. G, don't holler at them for me. Yo, yo, yo. First of all, thank everybody for coming in and kicking it with with your boys, man, on the Woo Pig Podcast. You could be doing anything else, but you're choosing to do it with us. But you know what we want you to do? <clears throat> we want you guys to experience peace of mind with Insurance Max. They are your one-stop shop for home, auto, uh, and commercial insurance, and we're talking about statewide. Don't wait. Call today for your free, and I'm talking about free. They don't charge you nothing to save you some money, and there's no obligation. They're going to give you a quote. Secure your future with Insurance Max. It's where protection meets affordability. Call now and safeguard what matters. You can call Wes, Caleb, or Sandy, and that number is 870-534-2823. Again, that's 870-534-2823. Again, we always going to show love to the OGs, baby. 3M Electric. Man, they are an electrical contractor serving Northwest Arkansas. They do both commercial and residential contracting. These guys or SDVOSB. That is a service disabled veteran owned small business. These guys are reliable and dependable. No job. I'm talking about no matter what you got, it's too big or it's too small. They're going to come take care of it for you. So for all of your electrical needs, get the guys over there at 3M Electric a call. The number 479 408 9865. Again, that's 479 408 nine eight six five and when you call either one of these sponsors you make sure you use the promo code the woo pig podcast they got something special for you thank you to 3m electric and insurance max they making it happen for the woo pig podcast hey let me absolutely the people uh, let me shout out hey jessica i'm never gonna be hard on you you one of the favorites and uh <laughs> pig pen i don't know if i'm gonna hang up the d-mac jersey or I got something else I, I can hang up too. So, I mean, I'm figuring out which one I want to hang up. Hey, man, Box is leveling up out here, man. I'm here to tell y'all right now. Y'all, y'all don't know nothing about what Box got going. <clears throat> hey, can you go back to um, 
Nemo, Nemo, I don't know if you is you. Oh, or, or, but they uh, his showing love tonight. Hey, 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 Nemo, I don't know if you are um one of my fans or haters. <laughs> but but I don't need no handouts, bro. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need I don't need handouts. And trust me, trust me when I say that. I don't hey. need handouts. Now I take a- you, hey, I take you to authors and pay for all your stuff if you want me to. <laughs> get whatever kind of steak you want. Yeah, get whatever you want. I ain't gonna even look at what price it is. Just get it. Just order it. Shut get up. Order. Bring the bill. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, man, I had to talk box off the ledge the other day. I'm like, nah, box, we not doing that, man. <laughs> no, box, no, we not doing that, man. No. <laughs> Finally, box was like, yeah, you right. I'm telling you, but hey, man, box is not asking nobody for no dollars and cents. I'm telling you that right now, man. He's not doing it. <laughs> well, shout out to Mama Armstrong. Boy, they in the building tonight. Man, Mama Armstrong came through with the superintendent, man. I'm telling y'all, man, she, they showing love, man. Uh, she said, how many podcasts have you looking for them Monday, Thursday, and Saturday? And when they don't come on, you bum. <laughs> Woo, <laughs> pee. Woo, <laughs> pee. Man, come on, man. Man, y'all heard it, what the people saying out there, man. Y'all can't get it hey, nowhere like y'all getting it right here, man. Hey, Ty Collins, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> and for, and for, I'm, I'm for the done. rest of the, the everybody who ain't showed love, the freeway, the freeway, just by hitting the like button. I hit got some like special button. for you. you big trans. Come on, man. Hit the like <laughs> button, man. You big cold-blooded dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Show your boy some love, man. Hit the like <laughs> button for us, man. But I am trying to bring up this, this tweet from Coaching Changes. I don't know if you guys follow Coaching Changes, man. But this is what they tweeted about Eric Musselman, man. If I could get it just to come up. It, and it's too big, and I'm trying to make it small. I mean, give me a second. I'm going to make it small enough so we can. And why are we read. doing that, man? We six people away from getting to our, our, our magical number of 100 on these lives. So six people. I don't, I don't care what six of y'all it is. Six of y'all, close the chat out and hit the like button for your boys, man. My hey, goodness, man. Up. We got people in here showing love with the super chats. And y'all can't even, you know, hit the like button. This is just plum ridiculous. And we gon' oh, and we gonna come kick it with y'all, man. Boy, I tell you what. Hitting you wait like till I see y'all is, in hey, person. Hitting the like button is free, but I'm gonna say, I'm gonna tell y'all this. I'll be fronting. I borrow all of my money from OD and Greg. I'm <laughs> <laughs> They buy they buy all of my equipment. They buy my chairs. They buy my mic. Sometimes Greg bring me food. So I'll be I'll be on here front. Just want y'all to know that. <laughs> so I'm going to read this real quick and uh, excuse that bad word in there, but it says Eric Musselman's program and behavior was has been erratic this year. Something is very clearly wrong. No reason to speculate exactly what, but I can tell you that at least one search firm has done their due diligence and is definitely not recommending this guy. Mm. Hey, Amen. That what, mm. That's what that's that's what coaching changes said, and and coaching changes they pretty be they be spot on out here, man. They they, plugged they in. telling you what's moving and shaking out yeah. here in these streets. Yeah, they plugged in for sure. What's sad is I don't think nobody want us. Honestly, well, Arkansas yeah, ain't gonna hey, fire him. Yeah, yeah well, he gonna I don't, have to quit. I don't think I don't, I don't think no school want him because usually. It'd be some smoke out there where must I mean, this t- this this team want him, that team want him. We ain't heard that. Mm. Yeah. Mm-mm. So, babe. Hey. Wait a minute, boy. That hey, OD. Before you yeah. say anything, put James nineteen seventy seven coming up there. I want you to comment off that. <laughs> I want you. I want you. I want well, you missed it. <laughs> hey, I want you to comment off that. <laughs> Don't no, let that, that pass. <laughs> Don't let that pass, OD. Come you on. You talking about this one right here? <laughs> no, not that one. No. Not that no. one? No, <laughs> the next one. <laughs> I don't, I'm not going to let you pass that up. Come on with it. Put it James out there, OD. Gray. This one? James 19. No, the, 
No, no. 1977, no, it's James, Razorback 1977 number one. Razorback number one. I'm not going to let you pass this comment up. I'm way behind, it too, man. Bro, I mean, yeah, it, it ain't too far up from the bottom. You want shout, me to out read to, it? shout out to Mbake in the in the comments, man, on Twitter. Oh, yeah, man. you showing love. James, Alex Diller was better than JT Noche? <laughs> yeah. <that. laughs> <laughs> OD hey, feeling man. some type of way. <laughs> JT. <laughs> Alex Diller was on the championship team, man. With <laughs> Scotty Thurman, <laughs> Big <Quarterly>. Nasty, <laughs> Corey Beck, Dwight Stewart, and you want to tell me Alex Dillard <laughs> was better than J.D. Note. <laughs> now, I'm a sh I like both of them. I love Alex Dillard because Alex will pull up from anywhere. He busted. was a Curry before Curry. He was Curry before Curry. Yeah. Alex Diller was that dude with them big long shorts. Hey, I I can't hold you. But man, JD <laughs> Note is a is 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 my as they say, <laughs> my, he's my Kendrick spirit, man. <laughs> if I could play like JD, like that would be the dude I would want to play like. Hey man, JD out here ripping you. He getting to the rack. He pulling up, busting in your face. Man, JD Note was the dude. Alex Dillon really didn't play defense. I'm sorry. He <laughs> shoot the ball, but he didn't play D. He wouldn't lock you down and, and take your cookies. He was not that dude. <laughs> hey. He played offense and offense <laughs> only. I see him. I played against Alex Dillon at War Memorial. He, he, was got, about, he was about 150 pounds heavier, but he That's still good. was shooting from the other end of the court <laughs> and on. busting your head. <laughs> he was doing that. <laughs> you literally had to foul him to not. To, it, it, he was he would meet him by the same size, but he still yep. was rising up from the other end of the court and busting your head. And, and was quick too. Even yes. he, he had gains of weight, he was still quick. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm Shout sorry, out to James, OD. 1977, man. That was a I'm great sorry. one. I'm sorry, <laughs> OD. <laughs> but I'm riding with JD Note, man. JD Note, man, you need to come on the show, man. Show me some love, man. <laughs> hey, one thing I want you to say: you named all them players on that championship team, but you better not leave Devar Remark out. Shout out to Remark, man. I, hey, I, I, I liked, uh, I liked him, man. He was that dude. I liked him coming off the bench. But don't hey, as long as everybody know, do not talk about JD Note. Not 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 to OD. He ain't trying yeah. to hear that. Hey man, some people protected around here. JD Note is protected on the Woo Pig podcast. He may have hey, went seven for twenty nine, but he got the dub. <laughs> he got the dub. Hey, but them seven was to win the game, wasn't it? Them last. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mbake says, how can Mus? How can Musk lose one season and no one want him? But what about Pittman? That, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the word in his mouth because he got the – he said, but what about – he just, he just put laughing. So he, I'm just going to say I'm putting words in his mouth, but I'm going to see him say he's saying, but what about Pittman? Hey, I, I, can answer, shots. I, can, I can answer that because – the Arkansas Razorback fans is used to five and six and five and six and six. Mm. Stop saying that. They, they ain't used, used to that. that that's why we want. Yeah. That's why we glad we got Petrino back. We ain't. We don't want that. I don't want that. Hey, what's the name at, at Texas and them got fired and they had a winning record? Arkansas ain't firing you like that. They paid him ninety million dollars to leave. To leave. Now they did do that. That's that mm. was Arkansas. That was, Arkansas ain't woo. even paying Pittman sixteen million to leave. Hey, Amen. That's the that's the difference. Hunter here check like uh, Cedric the Entertainer. I ain't got it, but I can put something <laughs> on it. <laughs> hey, hey, it was it, 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 it was. I can known, write you a post dated check or something. It was known that Boosters was gonna give him money to give the Pittman to fire him. Come on now, can that be allegedly? 
That was known. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly, my come guy on, told me, on. "Hey, my guy, my guy told me that you know who my guy is." Yeah, that was known facts. Mm. Mm. Well, I can't hold you on that. Did I ever put the thing in the comments? No, you didn't. You ain't opened it up. Oh, Look, snap, man, who want to come? Who want to come kick it with your boys, man? Y'all want to come over here, man? We go. We thinking about uh, getting a new segment too. Uh, it's uh, the uh, the what, boxing what, what, one, the, the boxing, boxing one, one where you can come up and argue your point with box. Hey, if you want to sure come up and hey, argue make, your point with box, make sure Melo the first one because he being nice today because he ain't hollering everybody by putting everything in caps. <laughs> yeah, we gonna we gonna get ready. We gonna we gonna get do some sixty minute uh, sixty second rounds uh, with the boxing one. So. Y'all, y'all look for that coming in the future, man. We, we y'all, y'all want to argue with Coach Box, especially when this coming football season. It's gonna be a lot for y'all to argue about with this dude. So, y'all hey. be looking for that. And we Box need don't write. Hey, Box don't write nothing down. I'll stay ready. <laughs> <laughs> man, we got. Hey, we got a celebrity in the building. We got Larry Holmes, man. He said we need the Woo Pig and Natty Sports five on five. Hey, man, bruh. But they don't want they don't want that smoke. Hey, hey, Larry. Hey, Larry Holmes, bit. Go ahead. These guys are just I don't know they're just so big and I I think they're a little they're a little aggressive. Uh, I don't I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah, we, we better not say anything about them. You know, man, come on now, you don't want to see that. Man, we, hey, Larry, we need, Holmes, Larry Holmes been knocked out since Mike Tyson knocked him out. He finally woke up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, man. man. Ibaki, man, we need you to hit the link, man. We need you to hit the link and come on the show, man, man so we can talk to you, Hit the link. Man. Come on. Kick hey, it hit with the us, link, man. bro. Hit the link. Uh, but speaking of the link, man, I got I to gotta bring some brethren on the line here. We got we got unbiased in the building. Oh, Feeling better, bro? My God. Oh, wait a minute. Everything. He done shaved. What? <laughs> he got, we got hey, West in the building. What's up? Oh, he shaved his head. Oh, oh my God. Man. <laughs> you going man, I'm biased. Are you feeling better at least? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm hanging in there. How about man, you, gentlemen? Good, man. Everybody was asking where you at. I told him, man, you was under the weather, man. Our man's wasn't feeling good. So I'm glad you up and upright and, and still kicking. Yeah, I still went to work and everything. I just went late. You That's know. what's up. But we here. Tell me, t- tell me what you think about. The portal, man, and I and the hogs hitting the portal, man. Joseph Pinion, uh, Midfield, uh, DJ Harris, Great Poupon, aka uh, uh, Bob Marley, yeah, <laughs> yeah, all that. <laughs> I mean, none of those are surprising. I mean, to be honest with you, I mean, Midfield, I was hoping he might would stay, but I mean, maybe the writing was on the wall. I mean, he was able to produce at Washington, but. It's not the SEC. You ain't got six, five guards putting that body on you and and effectively taking you out the game because defensively you become a liability. So, you know, it is what it is in regards to those three gentlemen. Um, you know, Pinion listened to you, obviously. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, Pinion wasn't being used. In the, I mean, if he wants to have opportunity to, you know, perform, it just made sense for him to, you know, to make that change and bet on himself and, I I don't think he goes to a small program though. I think he actually goes to, a, you know, a higher end program. I think that someone else is going to pick him up from a higher end program. But um, oh, we shouldn't be surprised about any of these things. But I just want to go at box real quick, just real quick. Box, you were talking about the buyout. They was they just boosters was giving them money to buy out. You keep on forgetting it was only for one doggone coach, Gus Miles on. So they trying to strong arm, strong arm our AD to say we gonna go get Gus Miles on, when the truth of the matter, Gus Miles on is already used this a couple of times to get more money. So you better put some context into what you talking about with your sources. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, hey, box. I'm hey, just saying. Hey, hey, my sources is good, and if they had a fire Pittman and offer Gus Miles on the right money, Gus Miles on be coaching Arkansas this year. Trust that. Yeah, but I don't think that would. Have, that's not the. That's I don't think that's a smart move, in my opinion. So you think it's mm-hmm. smart to keep Pittman? 
No, but I think we should we shouldn't be strong arm to get one coach. We should have the ability to find the best coach possible. It shouldn't be just one person, especially when that person has already burnt us before. Just keeping it real. It should have been about the program, not about one guy. It should have you know, but you know, boosters are gonna be boosters and people who pay are gonna pay. But if you're gonna do that, do it for the right reasons, not just to try to get one guy. We should have had a divert if you're gonna do that, you wanna have a diverse coaching search so you can look at some of the best candidates and not strong arm uh the A D and 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 everybody at Arkansas to go get one guy. If you're not gonna be willing to do it for the overall coaching search, then don't do it at all. Period. When I when when I look at somebody burning us, I look at somebody was her coaching left and went somewhere else like an old Miss, like Houston Nutt did. That's why I look at burning us. I don't look at a coach burning us when they was asked to leave by Houston Nutt and went coach somewhere else. You can't burn That's not us what I'm talking about. I'm talking about all the times he you I'm talking about all the times he utilized used us to get pay raises. Who yeah, don't that, do that? that. Who well, don't do well, that? I said what I that, said. That happens everywhere. <laughs> that happens everywhere. <laughs> The I did. So, they, the, the, so every the so everywhere Miss? people get burned to some degree. You know what? Well, but again, you can't you can't rebuttal the fact that if you're going to do this, you're going to make a move and get rid of Coach Pitt, Pitt, Pittman. It should be a diverse coaching search, not just one guy. It, 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 you're strong arming if you're doing that. Strong arm tactics. That's not how you do a coaching search. You can try to do, you can try to you know bunk debunk that, but you know that's a fact, and you really can't argue that. If you're gonna get rid of a coach, you need to do an extensive coaching search. You, if they're only gonna be willing to put the money up for one guy, then we are gonna have to just deal with Pittman for another year because that's not the way you do a coaching search. No. Mm. Well, Lane Lane Kiffin used us to get a bigger contract and a, and and Ole Miss job. Okay, that's cool, but what I said still stands, though. But what I said still stands, getting burned aside, if you take that out of the equation, because that's what you're rebuttaling, but you can't rebuttal the other point that I'm making because you know what I'm saying is right. You know what? I'm sorry because somebody told me to go easy because you're sick. I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm not sick no more. <laughs> I'm healthy. You go harder you can. Me. Go hard in the paint box. Some wrong. You done cut your hair and you done shave. Forgive me. I'm done with it. <laughs> well, with that, with that being said, we gonna go to we gonna go to West, man. What you think, West? What you think about what, what these up, guys talking about? As far as the transfer porter, what's up, unbiased? I think he's in mourning over the basketball season. He's shaving his head. <laughs> he, it'll come back next year. I have faith in Muscleman. I'm not like Box. Um, <laughs> Minifield, I, I believe he's undersized anyway. He's too small for what we need. Um, best wishes to him, but he's not the right type of player. Pinion, you know what I think about him. Uh, if I say defense, Box is going to attack me. But uh, he was always five steps behind everybody on the court. And I understand they were not good at defense. I'm agreeing with Box on that, but come on, man. I mean, he could not stay in front of anybody for any period of time. And offensively, he may be talented and – Excuse me. I, I do think one of the things that Box is saying is true, that in a different system under a different coach, Pinion can be successful. He, he has the height. He has the offensive ability. But Musselman is not the right coach for him. Musselman is a defensive-minded coach. He needs to be with a very um, specific type of coach that can hide his weaknesses and get him open shots and uh, and hide him on defense. So I, I think he can be successful. And I'm like you, unbiased. I do believe Pinion has the talent to go to another SEC school. It just needs to be an offensive school, not a defensive-minded school. As far as football is concerned, I've been watching practice. And honestly, uh, I haven't been very encouraged by what I've, I've been seeing. Uh, we had trouble last year. Uh, remember, we had so many bad snaps last year, and I know it's spring, and I know, I know it's early. The timing's off, everything. But if you watch some of that practice footage, still same problem. We're snapping the ball in the dirt. We're snapping the ball away from the quarterback to the point um, nobody believed to to the point that I believe Petrino put Green under center because they kept bad snapping it when he was in the pistol and shotgun. So that's a big concern of mine. I don't know. I, I'm really worried about the offensive line now. Um, I know in spring timing is always off, but uh, 
And it's it's not it didn't look good to me. And then the last practice, Petrino, he lost it, which I know he has a tendency to do that, but still, that that that's showing some frustration from him too. So I, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm I'm worried about this season in football. Mm. What up, Melo? Man, what it do? Melo got the Yellow. dreads out tonight, don't it? Oh uh, yeah, man. Oh yeah, I had a nice season. Yeah, yeah, I see you, hey, baby. Hey, long. The life was strong. Right <laughs> anyway, What's on your mind, man, baby? Hey, can we stop the – hey, since Pinky is uh, transferring, can we stop talking about dude? Because I promise y'all, dude is not like that. I don't know what y'all talking about. He can go to another SEC school. Y'all talking about somebody hiding him on defense like he can score that much <laughs> on offense. Like, bro, get in, get, come on, bro. Please, bro. Get up out of here, man. And box, I'm on your body, box. Hey, box. Hey, what's up with your boy Tang, man? Kansas State. They ain't gonna make the tournament, man. You still want Tang? Box. Box. What is box? Yo, oh, oh somebody sleep. talking. Somebody yeah. talking. I didn't, hear <laughs> I didn't even hear nobody talking. My, my bad. You my bad. Tang? Let me. <laughs> hey, I ain't even hear nobody talking. My bad. Hey man, what he about said you your still boy, you still man? want Tang? They he they're not even making the tournament this year. I said, I man, said he heard two, that I said, dude. I, yeah, I said two <laughs> coaches. He only heard what he wanted to hear. Uh but I heard you capable for it's time. Like, it's I like, heard you hey, for time. Hey, hey, mellow by like people at the car dealership. You tell them you're gonna give them a, in a range for fifteen to twenty on their car. They gonna hear twenty. <laughs> man, whatever. Mellow was mellow is that type of person. I I, I said we'll wait. I said, we'll wait or Tang and still give me Tang because he know how to coach offense. Bro, Tang ain't never won nothing. Why would you want Tang over Muss? That's what crazy. Muss win. Muss ain't never won a championship. Muss ain't won. Oh, yeah, but he, but he didn't got farther than Tang hey, did more consistently. Hey, in five years, in five years, Muss ain't won an SC championship, a division championship, or nothing. Okay, you name me five coaches who done won more than Muss in the past five years. Hey, ain't nobody want them hey, all the ain't one of them. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Definitely if y'all no like, <laughs> if if y'all like coming in last, y'all stay in that category. Box ain't it, bro? But who you think gonna have us coming in first? Not not Will Wade. What you mean? How, how you know Will Wade, boy? Do you know anything about Will Wade? First off, yeah, he. he ain't win I do. We LSU. beat him he several ain't times. Win at LSU. He ain't, man, he ain't we win coach much. LSU. LSU, LSU team was better. When we away with that LSU, you bro, can we away and, and, and we beat them three times in one season with Coach Muss. Hey. Come on, bro. Hey, at at what else? Hey. 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 I said what I said, and y'all can discuss it among each other. <laughs> you, you ain't saying much right. of the problem, so we shouldn't even discuss it. We should yeah. just forget about it. You, you, you know why I'm saying a lot? Because y'all still responding to me, so I must be right. No, <laughs> just because you're ridiculous. Check, hey, check this out. Y'all save all this and come on boxing one. Y'all save all this. <laughs> Come on, Boxy Moore. Come on. We hey, we hey, West. Hey, West. Hey, West. 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 Hey, hey, West. Hey, West. Hey, West. You come low. on too. West, you come on too. I want all three of y'all to come on at one time. Three, three <laughs> against one. I got a question. I got a question for bro right here. Uh, with the headphones on. You say you. What? You say you not with. The, you say you not with the Muzz. What's wrong with Muzz? No, no, he no, said no, he not with the. He not with the hate muscle man. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Is that any better? Yes, I, it is. Y'all can hear you good now. I just feel okay. like Muss one of the best coaches in the SEC, man. I think if we lose, dude, we will be in bad shape for for five, six years. Well, okay, what I, I disagree with that. Who do we replace Musselman with? Who 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 comes in and does as good as Muss? I'm listening. Hey, I'm, I'm, I am too. Hey, give, give me Will Wade. Give me Sean Miller. Give me Stop. Dustin May. Give me Brian Dutcher. It's, it's Son, a lot of we'll coaches. Wait. Between those we'll coaches wait. you just named, Box, and I don't know, I'm asking you a legit question. We'll How many wait. national championships have they won? How many Zero. Must won? No, How many I'm asking must you, won? but those are the guys you're recommending, but they haven't won any. How many must How won? Many elite? How many have they even went farther than Musk has won? Have they went farther than Musk? Well, I mean, have Sean Miller did at Arizona year? State. Sean Miller did at Arizona State. He don't even coach Arizona State. What is you talking about? I know he coach, he coaching Xavier. They got a better record in Arkansas this year. Man, barely. Not they SEC. probably won't make the tournament either. 
And ain't nothing in the SEC. Good hey, job, man. Hey, the everybody can holler about the SEC. Billy o, I mean, Oates was at, at Buffalo. So don't just say it's the <laughs> SEC. And do, what are get you doing? Get out of here. No, the, Billy the Oates coached at Buffalo. Have that record in the SEC. Hey, he coached at Buffalo. 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 So, what that so mean? If, he can come, if he can coach at Buffalo, I'm pretty sure Sean Miller can co- come from the Pac 10 and coach the SEC. I don't know. And Musk. First of all, I think this is a mute discussion anyway, because I don't think Musk goes anywhere. Didn't Sean Miller get for five from um, Arizona? He got five before NIL. So did Will Wade. That's legal. Oh, so NIL is the reason why he got five. Fox, come on, man. You freestyling again, Box. Let me explain to y'all one thing. I'm going to name y'all some better coaches. I'm going to name some better coaches SEC than Musk. Calipari. Let's go. Okay. Buzz Williams. The South Carolina coach. Buzz Williams. Arvin, no, no, Ar- no, hey, no, Arvin, no, 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 Arvin, no, 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 Chris no. Beard, and Bro, Tennessee head coach. Okay, how is Buzz Williams a better coach? Buzz Williams ain't did nothing. He ain't won nothing. He was at Virginia Tech not winning nothing. What are you talking hey, about? Marquette. Hey, who, who, Dude, they won still, nothing. They going he ain't made it to a second weekend in the tournament yet. They going yeah, to the tournament this year. Huh? Who? They Texas going to the NCAA tournament this year, Texas A&M. Yeah, but, 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 but what you going to do when you get there is a question. They what has he done since he, once he got there? They He's got only there. been there Where twice in five years. All right. Y'all at Texas talk. A&M. Y'all, y'all talk. I'm biased. No, Texas A&M ain't giving you facts. This, y'all is, talk. this is first time. This y'all is first talk. time hey. in the tournament. I'm going to put my time. head back down. Second. I'm put my head back down. Let me let me, let me hit the button on y'all for a minute. <laughs> All right, so to have a productive conversation, we have to allow one person to talk while the others listen. <laughs> Everybody try to talk over each other, and can't nobody hear nothing. So that's a, now that's a, that's a true barbershop argument right there. It, it really was the barbershop there for a minute because did nobody <laughs> know what was going on though. I'm like, what is going on here, man? Fox <laughs> man. Hey, Melo, you make sure. Hey, man, can you come up to the spring game, bro? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm in the building. I, I heard that time about was it, August or something. Uh, no, the, the, uh, the April spring th- game is April the 13th, but the, oh, uh, the, the game in Little Rock is August 31st. Oh, yeah, I can pop up for both. Yeah, say less, man. Hey, man, email us, man. Get on there and email us, man, with your phone number and stuff, man, so we can reach out. Uh, we're trying to get as many it. people as we can, man, to come kick it with us, and, and, and you know how we do. Uh man, uh, box being critical of Mus would have burned Louisville down if he went through what we did with Kenny Payne. Y'all have a good coach. What is this madness? Hey man, put that, it's a, put that coming up by brick and one. It's a different level here in, in Arkansas, man. We when it comes to basketball, we ain't we ain't trying to lose. And to miss the tournament, man, we we upset about it and. Right now, we feel like Muss is just letting go of the wheel. We don't know what's going on because hey, OD- we we ain't used to this. So we 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 want Muss to be Muss. What you got, Melo? Hey, one question. So since when have you been like expecting Arkansas just to go out there and win like that? Like since when you been feeling like that? When Muss like came. Since, since hold, um, hold on, boy. Hold on, boy. Don't don't do it to him. I, I feel like win? I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I honestly felt like. The last coach, Mike Anderson, I w- I felt like we expected to win, but when we had the success with Muss over the last three seasons, I have grown accustomed to to winning. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna hold you. I have grown accustomed to to winning with Eric Musselman, and now I'm just kind of ticked off that man. We we ain't in no tournament, bro. We got a losing record, man, and I'm just like. I'm let down, bro, and I'm I'm upset about it. And I'm like, which is why I wouldn't make a good AD, because I'd probably be like, man, you fired. I would be uh what's that what's the president name that got kicked out? What's his name? Uh I can't think of it. Fake news dude. Uh Agent Orange. I can't think his real name. Uh I would be him because I'd be firing everybody. Man, you fired. Donald Trump. Donald Trump, Donald yeah, Trump. that's his name. I'd be fired. So this dude said Agent Orange. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bob, what you got, dog? I, I don't think we listening enough right now. In the po- okay. post game uh, press conference, what did what did Battle say to us? 
Oh, he what did he say about to it. Man, we just he lost. Was talking about it. That's what I remember him saying, no. man. We just lost. No, nah, that ain't no. all he said, though. No, he, he said, listen, the coaches are preparing us and putting this position. They staying diligent in the back and, and, and going through the game players. feeling like crazy. And we letting them down because we're not performing as a team. It's on us as the players. And then Devo in that. his interview with Natty um, said, listen, it was they, – man, they've already let it be known. It was the chemistry. People people didn't care. There was people on that team that, were, that, that, that was haphazard, didn't give the maximum effort. We're going to put – listen, Coach must deserve some blame because he brought these players in. But we got to remember who, who, who's on the court. I, I, I saw players it, that didn't care. I saw but players that it. didn't care. Who, whose job is it to manage the players? Yeah, well, yeah I, like I, but that? what I say though, but again, you, again, I said must deserve some culpability for this. But you again, for you wanting to do something, a coach can't force you to do that. The coach but, can put you in the position and then on a player. And, Look, I'm biased. You're a coach. You are a coach. Guess what? If your players, if you have a scheme that you, you you're trying to institute and they're not buying into the scheme, what do you do? Man, I'm putting somebody, I'm putting them on the bench, and putting somebody in is going to buy into it. You see what I'm saying? But but what you do is there's consequences to it, and I don't think the players cared about the consequences because they knew Musk couldn't really have no great consequences because he didn't have nobody in the wings. So that means it, that so at the end of the day, no matter what Musk does, they wasn't gonna come out and do what they needed to do. You so this me? is one so, year that I'm gonna chalk up, but I'm giving Musk some rope because Musk is y'all been talking about oh get another coach and y'all keep on forgetting we went twenty plus years without even that. seeing the second weekend. No, 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 nah, 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 y'all talking about must leave is okay. No, that. it ain't okay. It ain't okay. Hey, he got his deficiencies. Hey. Coach Musk has deficiencies, but ain't no way I'm going to sit here and say, oh, you can go ahead and leave when we had 20-plus years of no second weekends. Y'all out of y'all doggone minds. Oh, oh, wow. here, oh, oh, okay, look here. Look, look here. No, hold on. Hey, hold on. Not, hold on. Hey, let me get hey, this he one. He shot some smoke at y'all, boy. He, 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 he let, is let, trying let, to spin facts right here. Let me get this one. Let me get this one. So, unbiased. You ain't never heard me say, I wish Musk was gone. I ain't never said that. Nah, what I said did that. say. Never said huh? that. Never said that. I ain't never said that. Y'all didn't listen what to I, me. I didn't say y'all wish Musk was gone. Y'all said if he leaves, no, it's no, no big no, deal. We don't no, care. You, no, no. What you said was y'all up here talking about Musk need to be gone. Nah. No, I said y'all saying if he leave it, if he leave it, it ain't no big deal. You know, whatever. Yeah, we got, we can just get I another coach tripping. to come in. Bro, yeah. look, look, listen, listen. Y'all ain't tripping? I, I, <laughs> no, I ain't tripping. I, I'm, I'm like my, I'm uh, uh, my man's, my man's five hundred one man. I'm thugging out here because look here, if you decide you want to leave, I ain't tripping, nigga. Get, I mean, hey, get on back. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, we about to lose some fuck shit, man. We about to lose. Get on down. <laughs> hold on, man. Hey man, hold up. Stop hey, the press. We, we got a commercial, man. Pig podcast family. I have one simple question for you today. Why haven't you called me? If you're trying to protect your home, your auto, your motorcycle, your boat, your side-by-side, -side, or more importantly, your business, how do you know you're not paying too much for your insurance? Give me a call today, 870-534-2823. And lastly, continue to support the Woo Pig Podcast. Okay, now... <laughs> West, that was beautiful. That was first, beautiful, West. Man. I, I gotta read my <laughs> super chat, man. <laughs> hey, shout out to shout out to uh, Matt for supporting the channel as always, man. Everywhere, Matt, that's my dog, man. Just because Musk raised our standards, don't mean he no, he no, doesn't mean he no longer has to meet them. If he leaves, he leaves. He leaves. That's what I'm talking about. That, hey, that what he's saying. It is what it is. <laughs> that what I've been trying to tell y'all, man. I ain't, I ain't never said, you know. I, I, I wish he was gone. I ain't Greg, never said I that. I want to say something. Nobody said the, that. The problem this year, though, is once you have recruited the players and the season starts, if the majority of your players aren't doing what they need to do, what choice did he have? I mean, he did what he needed to do. He was switching people, benching people. He kept trying different lineups, and none of them were performing. So what is he supposed? That's he can't. He can't just West. sign free agents. That means he the lost the, the locker season. room. He got what he got. Bro, he lost, that means he lost the locker room as a coach. The locker no, room was already lost. Because they didn't no. have – How, how about these dudes just was just some bums? How about that? Right. No Thank you. They didn't, didn't know how to win. 
he didn't make no adjustments with the players he had. You got to make Listen, coaching man, adjustments. Did you watch to- L- Ellis play? Boy, big trash. Big hey, trash. hey, terrible. He ter- he trash. Did you watch him turn the ball? He could not. Trash. They pressed him, and t- he got scared every time. Wes, I ain't talking about that. You got to make offensive adjustments to your offensive guy that you recruited. He didn't make that adjustment, none. As a coach, but you got to be able to make – you got to make adjustments. He didn't make none. You got to but, but the personnel. But he sorry players. He couldn't adjust. He could only adjust so much. All you got to do is set a couple set a couple of double screens. Man, if he did that. Got, much would have done that. Come on, man. He's smarter than that. Hey, I got one question. How, how you he know? did that, though. Hey, yo, 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 yo. Melo, what you got? If battle, I got a question for y'all since we're talking about players because I know I was on battle the whole time. Hey, so if battle would have played the whole season how he played towards the end, what y'all think we would have looked like? He wasn't going to play that way because he's a scorer. He's not a shooter. Scores, you go No, 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 streak. no. I'm just saying, if he was scoring like 25, 23, 20, like around that consistency like he was doing at the end, how you feel like the team would have been throughout the whole season? Fringe. Very Fringe different. tournament. Next we four have, hours. We, we may have won two more games. Maybe three. Two more okay. okay. I just feel like better let us down. That's all I was feeling like. I feel like he came to be J, J.D. Note, and he didn't do that to the end of the season. I, I want to I I respond to that. Do you remember when – when he was trying to be who he really was, and every time he tried to get going, as soon as he missed a shot, Musselman yanking him out the game would yeah, never let he, him get a flow. Yeah, but he you wasn't got, playing no defense at the beginning of the year, though, though uh, bro. He wasn't playing no defense. He, you know what I'm saying? But he who, was? Game. who was? Who oh, was playing he, defense? Bro, bro, no, he was playing zero. Bro, he was playing yeah, like Kenya, bro. His effort, oh, he was playing his like Kenya, bro. Oh, no. He played way better at the end of the season, bro. He was playing he like Kenya at, at the beginning of the SEC, bro. Oh, yeah. Mellow for the win. Like mm. Mellow mm. for the win. Facts. Mm. I'll tell you who felt hey, right. Was Mark to me. <laughs> I don't know. As the season went along, Mark Mark started playing worse. If, if he would have stayed Mark. consistent like he did at the beginning, we might have yeah. had a little something. Hey, Mark West, got Mark exasperated with Mark, his team. Mark, Wes, Mark and Battle cannot play together. They are the exact same player. Now, and, one and on the other one is off. Right. Yeah. You got a point, but, Bob. I'll give you that. Hey, well, let me bring, I'm bring up Musk. And I know everybody think we hate Musk. We don't we want to win. When Musk came, that was we the start win. of the NIL. When Musk came, that was the start of the NIL. They didn't have the NIL, none during that 20 years before Musk. The NIL got us Anthony Black, got us Jordan Walsh. Without the NIL, they don't come here. I don't agree. And NIL, with the, and with the, the, hey, and with the NIL, though. and with the NIL, we ain't going back to mediocrity because money talks. Yeah, but, but who's, before Musk, dropping the money? he came to Arkansas as well. So it was, the NIL is not just the reason for Musk's success. He was I, he was successful at Nevada. Thank you, he Wes. Playing, hey, he wasn't playing. No, hey, 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 y'all just said it. Y'all just say he wasn't. Uh, Oates or some of these coaches, Will Wade is not coaching the SEC. Nevada wasn't Will the Wade SEC. We no, talking about point. Tang on you, buddy. We on Tang. Yeah, you trying to you trying to use a broad paintbrush. <laughs> nice try, tang. box. Put that paintbrush away. <laughs> hey, we on Tang. Keep y'all stuff straight. Tang. NIL makes a lot of difference in the coach, in any coach. It do, well, but if I feel you like all the spend, all yes, it will. Yeah, yeah all why do y'all NIL? think? Hey, let me ask y'all this. Let me this around the horn. There ain't some of y'all, but why do y'all think Musk is just a great savior? Maybe Musk is just the person to get us to a certain point to to somebody else to take us further. Mm. I'm gonna answer. You could, I mean, you could be right. They are that, who we I'm, thought they were. Oh, I'm I'm just basically. <laughs> <laughs> how, how we I'm know? Basic. How we know? Hey, how we know Musk ain't reached his ceiling because it is a ceiling when it comes to coaches. He ain't Dean Smith. He ain't he ain't the Kansas coach. How you know Musk ain't reached his ceiling? Mm. Uh, Everybody wants the backup quarterback in the game until the backup quarterback gets in the right. game. And, and, yep. Hey, and speaking about yep. players. Because speak, somebody hey, was hiring of, Chris Well all year. Chris, put Chris Well in the game. Put Chris Well <laughs> in the hey, game. Chris hey. Well got in the game, and you saw what happened. That boy hey, get Chris busted Will, up. Chris Well Chris Will got <laughs> in the game trash. a couple minutes. Man, hey, he, he was, been, man, he was out players, there big, big trash. Hey, and about big players trash. speaking up. 
Everybody, every every player on the football team last year had great things to say about KJ. Hey, whoa, but whoa, whoa. KJ Let's left, stop the press. But, hey, but when KJ left, you see Luke House said Green is the best quarterback he ever played for. Man, <laughs> we going to come back that. to that. I need, I need to stop the press for one minute, man. We got 291 people in the building on a Saturday night. Thank Let's y'all, go. man, for rocking with the Woo Pig podcast, showing love. We appreciate it. But you know, I Let's got to tell go. y'all, hey, man, y'all do us a favor. Close out the chat. Hit the like Hit the button. Like Stop button. being. Hit the like button. Hit the like button, man. Share. Hit the like button for your boys, man. Share and send it to your send it to a friend and another tell a friend to tell a friend as G Holmes like to say. Man, y'all, hey man, tell a friend to tell a friend, man. We try y'all, we trying to get to that three thousand, man, before uh before the end of the end month. End of the month. Man, we, y'all y'all ain't trying try. to help us out, man. We like we like two hundred away. Y'all go tell no, somebody, but- man, come rock with your boys. Y'all new people that's on here that just found us. Hey, go tell your partners. Man, log on and subscribe to these cats, man, because you never know what's going to happen in the barbershop. Man, we rocking in here with Unbiased West, uh, Mellow 501. We got Coach Box OD and your boy Big Sexy. Oh, 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 man, it's going down. And, and, and football season is amongst us, man. Y'all, let's get it. Man, and just know man. when we reach three thousand, Box is gonna give away something. You know, he gonna get hit you with a big cash app. You heard? Hey, yes, you, you sir. Heard? Yes, Box sir. Gonna, Box we, gonna hit you hey, with that. Big uh, trash. Man, <laughs> hey, we gonna hey, do something uh, special for somebody. I, I already told y'all, I borrow money from Od and Greg Holmes. Hey, man. Greg hey, bought man. me some eggs last week. <laughs> hey, I got a question, Oliver. What's up, man? Who do you want to come back next year? Oh, uh, yeah, we talked about that one. Uh, I'll take Battle back. I'll take Trevor Brazil back. I'll take Blocker back. Um, Trevon Mark, I'll take him back. Um, now, I did like something that somebody said in the comments. I think it was A, a- Don. Mark is a selfish player. I I think that he I feel like he is because he don't pass the ball ever. He he can't play when another player gets going. Mark, he just fades to black. But I'll take him back though. Uh, those are the only four players I care about. The rest of them can hit the bricks. I think we all pretty much said the same thing. I think Box added uh, Bay Fall in the mix. Now nah, Bayfall can hit the he can hit the portal, man. No, let keep keep Bayfall. He a freshman. He a freshman. Man, I don't care. Man, this is why I agree with Box. Box. He want back. God, bro, y'all got to kill. Y'all got to stop with this freshman stuff, bro. How many freshmen? He is a freshman. I don't care. <laughs> He's a McDonald's when it comes to basketball, bro. your freshman stuff don't matter because we've seen guys come into this league and straight dominate as a freshman. He is a McDonald's slash. Crystals, uh, burger, all American, and you mean to tell me this dude can't get on the court as a McDonald's all American? Bro, no playing time. No, we see that fool all year long. Hey, you just talked about Pinion not being put in the right position, bro. That's the same thing with Bayfall. Bayfall ain't a don't got no other big guys that was better than him. Who? Yeah. Who? There was other big men that were better than him. When he waited his turn. We have no big other trash. big men coming back. They're almost all the big oh, men man, are gone. He deserves to get to come back. And we need continuity. And on top of that, I look at the Auburn player who's their fifth year, year senior. You know what he was in his freshman year? People would have been like, he's super trash. Get him out of here. Now he's all SEC and is, is in his fifth year. Why? Because he's stuck with the program. We need players to stick with the program. We can't just boot everybody out because a freshman, they don't produce off the bat. Let the man develop. We need big men. All of them Look almost the gone. He, he let him bulk, put some weight on, bulk up. He has energy and effort. That's what we need. Come on, Odie. We got to stop trying to throw people away before they even get a chance to show and prove and improve. We need continuity. But that Jeez. means that goes back, that goes back to coaching, up. though. That goes it's back to coaching. To if, we're, if we're saying that the guys aren't de- – I mean, that Mus isn't developing <laughs> uh, the players, what you mean? <laughs> 
Nikki Davis. Hey, man. Nikki Davis. Nikki Davis. Man, Nikki Davis could get a rebound. That's about it, man. He can't do nothing else. Stop it. He played, he he played defense. Man, hey, Bayfall is not going to be that guy. I don't – y'all sit here talking about, man, I know basketball. Come on, if you if you mean to tell me you can look at Bayfall and sit here and tell me that this dude can average 20 points and 10 rebounds. Can any don't of you guys sit here and say that? that? Huh? Mm. We don't necessarily need him to do that. What you, you want him to do? What you, what Give you maximum do? effort. Give effort. maximum effort no. on the floor. And improve your, your game. I need you That's to put all the ball I need him to do. That's the name of the game. Let the results oh, be the results. Od, OD, hold on. He can play, bro. He can. What about if he ever three blocks? He ain't got a. He can, he can play defense. He ain't got a three blocks. Right. Man, you seven twenty. Man, what you mean three blocks? <laughs> <laughs> That's minimum. <laughs> My point is, you can affect the game, bro, without scoring the ball all the time, bro. You can affect the game without. Thank you, Melo. De Dennis Robin. <sighs> but Dennis Robin. He ain't going to be that guy because he always falling. That's why his name yeah. Bay Fall. He on the ground all the time. What you mean? Man, he, he he let the man trash. develop, man. We can't Big boot trash. every freshman out, bro. He didn't fall when he got his We can't boot every freshman out. The NIL has really hurt these coaches' ability to develop people, though, because there's so much pressure on them to win right now. You don't see a lot. Unless that freshman comes in and he's that special guy that can just jump in and play. I mean, there's there's a lot of pressure on these coaches to win because they're spending money to bringing in guys from other schools all the time. So there's no time for them to develop people. <laughs> Auburn spending more money. Auburn spending more money than us. And Bruce Pearl ain't got Bruce Pearl ain't got no problem developing his talent. Bruce mm -mm. Pearl one of the best coaches in the country. Box, just believe that better than much. I give you that he better well, than much. I said Bruce that while ago, and you said no. I ain't hear you say Bruce Pearl. Mm -mm. Bruce Pearl, no, Collins no, Perry. Favorite, yeah, so. nah, talking about I, Buzz I, I, said, I, I said Bruce Pearl, and you said no. I just heard you say Collins Perry, my bad. No, you I said Buzz you Williams. That's why you said no. Buzz. You said Buzz. Yeah, when you said Buzz. Buzz I team's said, no. still playing. Our team is our team. Our team ain't playing. Okay, for one season, he, one, season one year he did better than Musk. Congratulations. Yeah. The clock is right twice in a 24-hour period. Come on, man. Stop it. Let's hope Bob never this becomes a judge because we're all going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> if you my, hey, if you my if you my friend, you ain't. You know I mean? <laughs> all right, he, he, he gonna pardon me. I'm just sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna get hey, a pardon. Brandon Gibson, man, he said unbiased. The only one of us that got sense, man. Man, what? <laughs> I, ain't nobody, come, come on. Uh, you big cold blooded dummy. No, come on, unbiased. <laughs> unbiased. <laughs> No. Oh man, that's unbiased. Hey, burner account, man. man that yeah. dude's up top, man. <laughs> Come on, man. That's a false statement. <laughs> I'm at work. I can't do that much now. Hey man, yeah, that oh, was man. a good one. He got a ghost account over here to talk about that. Man, this man, y'all crazy tonight. Bias, Bambi legs. Don't get mad at me because I'm talking some facts. <laughs> man, we've been on for an hour and a half. Man, we are, we appreciate everybody rocking with us, man. This hey, really Mello, me, hit us up, G baby. G-Hones, I hit you on Twitter, man. You ain't hit me back yet. Hey, man, wait a minute, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm waiting. Uh, no. We, uh uh, babe. You, you can I'm find gonna, that out after the fact. He hit me on Twitter. You hit the Whoopi podcast on Twitter. Coach 501. That's me. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I got the tweet. Okay. He, I don't know if he send, hit you, though. Hey, I think I followed me, everybody. Man? I think one, I followed everybody. I ain't get no follow backs, though. One of y'all send me Mello. I follow you. Stop running. One of y'all send me Melo's number. I said from yeah, but you we already know you. Oh, we gonna get it. We gonna we gonna hook up Melo. Oh, I'm in the city, baby. Uh, Before we ten. call it a day, though, I want to give a shout out to the Arkansas baseball team, championship caliber stuff. Get to sweep tomorrow on on, on Missouri because they trash, and we just continue to play great baseball, man. That team is stacked. The pitching staff phenomenal. The bullpen is doing it's better early. than they did at the beginning of the season. The bats, when they catch fire, they catch fire. That's a championship team, man. I'm looking forward it's to continuing to watch the team be successful. You remember, you remember the it. year that we was in the uh, the World yeah. Series and they and and they couldn't get the routine pop fly. Exactly. <laughs> you remember okay, that? are you going? Are you, uh, are, listen, are you G Holmes. Old stuff? Holmes, I know you got PTSD. <laughs> No, no, you got PTSD right now. You want to bring up the negative because we got PTSD as saying, Razorback fans. Let's not focus on it's the negative. Early. They're doing well right now. I'm it's early. Yeah, it's early, but we're doing well. Uh, 
I'm biased. When 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 we are not doing doing well early in the season in baseball, <laughs> it's when? early. When were we? Yeah, are we go, not go, doing well? We gonna do no, good. But we're all doing year extremely long. well and right now. In the game that we, we I mean, in the catch, now. the root and the routine <laughs> pop fly that we need to win the championship, it drops in between three players. You think I forgot about that? Okay, yes, with that we lost, we lost because of that. But are we gonna harp on that or focus on the current team? Or are we I'm gonna stay in PTSD? I, hey, okay, I remember that. Grenade, grenade, grenade! That. Like, come on, we gotta get rid of the PTSD. <laughs> hey, West, hey, West and unbiased. Hey, West and unbiased. Hey, West and unbiased. West and unbiased. I got a question to both of y'all. How long Dave Aaron Horn been there? Twenty-one years, I think. In y'all personal opinion, <laughs> should we have won a college world series title by now? We should have won the one where they just catch the pop fly. All right, I'll <laughs> leave it. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> I, <laughs> hey man, I ain't just making that up. It still makes hey, me sick. Hey, hey, and how many times have we been number one or number it. two? Hey, how many times have we been number one, number two during the season in that twenty-one years? Box, I want to say about five because you brought that up on other shows. How often do schools win national championships? Well, you want to talk about Vanderbilt, LSU, or who you want to talk about? I'm, I'm talking about in, in any sport other than Arkansas track. We're talking about baseball. We're talking about baseball. All right, but how often does that happen? That is a hard we, thing to okay. do. Okay, are we talking about Vanderbilt or LSU or Tennessee? Which one are we talking about? Or any other you SEC get, team? But, they, but some of these teams get one championship and that's it. Listen, our time is going to come, but the consistency of always producing great talent and being great every year is something that we actually got to commend. Yes, you want to get the championship, but are we going to dog them out because we haven't won one? I mean, it's, you can say, listen, we should win one, but you got to give credit for the consistency of being a high-quality hey, top-end hey. team every single year. That you matters. Know like, hey, you know, you know that's why a I love Nolan? You know why I love Nolan? Because he won a title. Sound like y'all don't want to win a title. Y'all just want to be good. We all love Nolan, but he's the only one to do it. Mm. Hey, give me a title in baseball, then we can talk. Well, Anthony Thomas this said congratulations the year. to the women's indoor track team, 2024 national champions, man. Shout him That's out. That's a title. That's a title. If you want to talk about the greatest coach, just let's talk about John McDonald. Hey, man. Hands down. How many championships in a row? Eight. He's well, the unfortunately, John Wooden of track. Ain't none of us running no track. So you sure ain't no D. <laughs> you, hey, you walking, man. remember? You don't want to hey. run for nothing. Hey, but you, hey, hey, how let your boy on that squat rack? And I bet you, I bet you, I got your number. How let your boy? <laughs> we, we'll see what you made of on the weights. We'll see what you made of. That's what I, that's what I do know. Anyway, <laughs> hey, man, I appreciate everybody for coming up and kicking it with us tonight, man. We had a great show, as always. Uh, so, man, don't forget to come up and kick it with your boys, man. Why is this on the screen? Get out of there. Uh, thank everybody, man. Almost, almost. We almost got the 300 in the live stream. Almost. No, we did. No, we did. Now, they got we ever 300. Bro, I seen it click over the 301. We got the 300? I missed yeah. it. Yeah. Bro, man, thank yeah. all 300 of y'all in the live stream, bro. It was, it's been lit tonight. Had a great conversation about everything. Uh, we appreciate everybody, man. This is uh, this 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 year run we had on the Woo Pig podcast, man. It's been great. We appreciate all awesome. the day ones, man, for rocking with us. Uh, we appreciate all the members, man. That's that's been kicking it with us. Who who been really, man? They've been rocking with us since day one, man. I got uh, they seen the growth. Lil Joker, Lil Joker, Matt, uh, man, J. Will, man, Boss the boys Hall. been Boss Hall, Box. Hey, man, everybody that's been rocking with us, man, we appreciate it, one hundred percent. Y'all see y'all name rolling across the top, the, the thing, Nisha, Woo Pig, Honcho, man, man. everybody, Jessica, that, hey, hey, Jessica boy. Davis, man, we appreciate you. Everybody that's been rocking with us, man, we appreciate it. Box, you got anything you gotta say, man? Hey, I've been I've been mean to get this dude a shout out. Everybody know you don't want the Popeyes and your order wrong all the time. <laughs> My guy John Gibble at the Popeyes on Kill. If you really want to get your order right, 
you really want great service, go see John Gilbert at Popeye's on Kill in Sherwood. Now, man, now we awesome. need a, we need a Popeye sponsorship now, man. Hey, that that was that was the first person that Boss got famous with, man. He was like, "Ain't you that dude that be on the Woo Pig podcast? You want some chicken?" <laughs> so so go 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 see go see him. I promise you, you get great service and your food will be right. You ain't got to worry about getting home. You didn't ask for a thigh, but you got a thigh. He he gonna make sure you get what you asked for. John Gilbert, Popeyes on Kill. <laughs> hey, G. and Jessica Davis, thanks for coming. Hey, man, Jessica <laughs> Davis rock with us, bro. Oh, yeah, hey, Mama Armstrong, you always welcome. Absolutely, 100%. G, take us out of here, man. <laughs> yo, 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 it's your boy, G Holmes in the building. Oh, oh, oh my God. Man, like we've been telling y'all, man, we appreciate y'all. Thank you so much, man, for making this a beautiful ride. Man, we love you guys. It's just the barbershop, man. We're going to argue. We're going to just, we're going we gonna to disagree. We're going to do all of the stuff that we normally do. And we appreciate y'all opening it up, man, and coming out and supporting us, man. That's awesome. But I tell you what we do want you to do. We want you to continue to experience peace of mind with Insurance Max. Hey, these guys are your one-stop shop for home, auto, and commercial insurance, and we're talking about statewide. Don't wait. Call today for a free, no-obligation quote and secure your future with Insurance Max. It's where protection meets affordability. Yo, give Wes, Caleb, or Sandy a call and safeguard what matters to you the most. The number is 870-534-2888. Two three. That's eight seven zero five three four two eight two three. And you know we gonna always rep the OGs, man. Three M Electric. They are your trusted electrical contractor serving Northwest Arkansas. They do both commercial and residential electrical work. Hey man, these guys are SD VOSB. That's a service disabled veteran owned small business. No job is too too big or too small, man. These guys are always dependable and reliable. So whenever you have any of your electrical needs that you need taken care of, you give 3M Electric a call. That number is 479-408-9865. Again, it's 479-408-9865. And when you call either one of those, I'm telling you, you tell them that the Woo Pig Podcast sent you there's something special for you. <laughs> and yo, I keep telling y'all, write it down on your calendars. April the 13th, your boy's going to be up on the hill. It's secured and locked in, man. We up there, man. We going to be on the hill. Big Sexy, OD, the bad little brother, Coach Box. We going to have some, and, and some of the rest of the people that we kick it with going to be there too. And we're going to go out to the, uh, we're planning on going out to the Catfish Show. And we're going to kick it, man. We're going to just, you know, have a good time, man. Some meet and greet, take some pictures, man. Just talk a little trash. Talk about some Razorback stuff. Also, August the 31st, come over down, come on down to Little Rock. Y'all make your plans now. August the 31st, it's Arkansas versus UAPB. We will be tailgating. When it gets closer, we're going to firm up. We already know where we're going to be tailgating, but we want you guys to know exactly where we are. Um... So y'all can come up there and kick it with us, man. We're going to be eating, drinking, playing dominoes, playing spades, talking trash and laughing and talking, dancing. We're going to have a we're going we're going to be doing it all. You are not going to want to miss it. I'm telling you. Ain't no other podcast going to kick it like we do. We family, so we're going to do it like family. So go tell a friend to tell a friend to like, subscribe, go to the woopig.com, get our merch. We're going to have man, we going we doing it so big, ain't nobody going to be able to top it. I'm telling y'all, and you already know what your boy Big Sexy like to say. I said what I said, man, and we out. Oh, oh, oh my God. Yeah, it's the 501, baby. Uh-huh. You know how we get down on the Woo Pig podcast. Woo. Shout out OD, shout out G Holmes. It's the bad Big Sexy. Do it.